Okay, so we are on page 60. And what page 60 is going to attempt to teach you is if we give you a big pile of rational numbers and some are fractions and some are decimals, uh, we need to have a way and a strategy to put them in order from least to greatest. The directions read, ordering fractions and decimals. You can order fractions and decimals by rewriting the fractions as equivalent decimals or by rewriting the decimals as equivalent fractions. So that basically is saying take all the fractions and turn them to decimals or take all the decimals and turn them to fractions. I think what we'll do is just focus on one example at a time. And if I gave you all these numbers, 0 and 2 tenths, 3 fourths, 8 tenths, 1 half, 1 fourth, and 4 tenths, we're going to order them from least to greatest, but right now it's tricky because we have some decimals and some fractions. So for step number one, what this example is teaching you to do is use, um, use what you've learned previously to convert things like 1 fourth, change that into 25 hundredths as a decimal. Uh, change 1 half into 0 0.5. Change 3 fourths into 75 hundredths. Now I have those three decimals, I have these three decimals, and now I've got six decimals that I can put on a number line, and you can see that's what they do here. We've got uh, two tenths, that was in the original directions. We've got 25 hundredths, that's from this one right here, one fourth is 25 hundredths. We've got four tenths, we've got five tenths, that was originally one half. We've got 75 hundredths, and we got eight tenths. <clears throat> now it's easy to put them in order from least to greatest, and that's just what we do. You can actually see that two tenths goes first, and then and then twenty five hundredths, and then four tenths, and then five tenths, and then seventy five hundredths, and then eight tenths. So you put them in on on a number line, and then they're just ordered from least to greatest. Now, if for some reason this is confusing to you, always remember that you can annex zeros, and you can make it twenty, twenty five, forty, fifty, seventy five, and eighty. And then what you do, actually, I want to point your attention right here. Then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to um, when you list them from least to greatest, you're supposed to list them uh, in the original form they were given to you. So even if you convert all the fractions to decimals, when you list them in order from least to greatest, you put them back in their original form. So you'd have some decimals and some fractions. Let's go check out question B, or example B. There's not a question, it's just an example. Right now you're just kind of learning how to do this. So on B, they give you two fractions and a decimal, and what they're going to do here is convert the decimal to a fraction. Now, this gets a tiny, tiny bit complicated. Um, we're just going to do our best, okay? Uh, if, you get, if you get to the end of B and you're not quite sure about what I did there, you can always rewatch this portion of the video. It says order one-twelfth, two-thirds, and three-fifths from least to greatest. Step number one, since I already have two fractions, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make it into a fraction. So the way you start making that into a fraction is that you say 35 hundredths, and if you could say 35 hundredths, you can write 35 over 100, and then you simplify, because 35 and 100 share a factor. So I'm going to divide by 5, and you get 7 twentieths. So now you have three fractions. I'm going to go back up to the top. I've got one, I'll, maybe I'll put them off to the left here. You've got a twelfth, you've got two thirds, and you've got 7 twentieths. Now we might be able to use some common sense to get these, um, but what the strategy here is, let's make them all have a common denominator. In fact, here's our, here's our three right there. There's a twelfth, there's two thirds, and there's 7 twentieths. And uh, what you can do to make all, all have a common denominator is you can think about what 12 and 3 and 20 um, what they would have as a least common multiple. If you do your multiples of 12, you get 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. That's times 5. That's what we do here. We do 12 times 5, we get 60. We go 3 times 20, and we get 60. And we go uh, 20 times 3, and we get 60. So now I want to draw your attention to the fact that we have three denominators, all with a deno or denominator of 60. Then you go back and you do the same thing to the numerators that you did to the denominators. So on 1 12th, when I multiply the denominator by 5, I have to multiply the numerator by 5, and I get 5 sixtieths. And on 2 thirds, when I multiply the denominator by 20, I have to multiply the numerator by 20. So I get 40 sixtieths. And on 7 twentieths, when I multiply the denominator by 3, I have to go back and multiply the numerator by 3. So I get 21. Now I simply compare my, um, my numerators. 5 is the smallest, then 21, then 40. So we could write it, if we left it, um, if we left it in um, common denominators, it would be 5 sixtieths, would be the... Uh, smallest, the least, and then 21 sixtieths, and then uh, 40 sixtieths. 
but what they want us to do is to go back and write the original form of these and 5 60 was 1 12th you can actually see I'm gonna just point right here 5 60 was 1 12th and 21 60 was 35 hundredths and 40 60 was 2 thirds I know again that's pretty that's pretty tricky and it's something that we'll continue to practice if you don't totally understand that you can rewatch it or you can just move ahead and we'll we'll review it later all right let's go ahead and try the problems at the bottom of the page and uh, there's different ways to do this but I would recommend making these decimals these are all pretty simple to find as a decimal um, and in fact if for some reason you don't know if you don't have this one right here memorized as a decimal go back to page 59 and look at it it's on there if you don't have this one memorized go back to page 59 and look at it I want you to try number three here what we're doing here is we're putting the fractions and decimals from least to greatest so I want you to try this one and then if you need help or if you're ready to check your answer I want you to resume the video okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make them all decimals 85 hundredths is already a decimal 15 hundredths is already a decimal I need to make this one a decimal and I need to make this one a decimal so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna find three-fifths and seven-tenths on the number line and what I what I wanted you to do was go back to page 59 and find your number line I'm gonna do that and on page 59 here we've got three-fifths right here and three-fifths is equal to 0 0.6 so that's one of them and the other one was um, 7 over 10 which is right here that's 7 tenths and I know that because this is filled in on our textbook so these are the two numbers that I need to include in my um, in my comparison back at the bottom of page 60 so I'm going to take those with me And there's the bottom of page 60. It's so your turn. It says order the fractions and decimals from least to greatest. And so I already know that 3 fifths is equal to 0 0.6. And I already know that 7 tenths is equal to 0 0.7. And then I'm going to remind you of one more thing. Um, don't forget that if uh, this goes out to the hundredths place and this goes out to the hundredths place, we should probably make these go out to the hundredths place by annexing zeros. If you don't do that, you're going to get these wrong. All right, so out of these four, I'm going to cross these off so I don't get confused. Out of these four decimals, which is the smallest? We've got 85 hundredths, 60 hundredths, 15 hundredths, and 70 hundredths. And clearly the smallest number there is 15 hundredths. So that goes first. Then I do comma. And I'm going to cross that one off because I'm done with it. Now I've got 60, 70, and 85. 60 would go next, but I'm not going to write it as 0 0.60. I'm going to write it as 3 fifths because like I just taught you earlier in this page, uh, we record it as the number originally given to us. So I've got two numbers left. I've got 70, which is written as 7 tenths, and that's smaller than the biggest number here, which is 85 hundredths. Alrighty, that is the correct answer to uh, page 60, number 3. If you got those wrong, I want you to rewatch this portion of the video, hopefully make sense of it, or you can always ask your teacher for help. Good job.